Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario, and welcome back to Let's Play Hat Full Boyfriend. Um, in the last part, we kind of like started, like, getting intrigued by this whole web of mystery surrounding you as character. Um, in this part, we're going to be continuing on that path, hopefully. So things are looking promising for this storyline so far, I must say. We're going to be deciding our major soon. I haven't thought about it at all. I'll need to have my career all worked out by this time next year, won't I? We know what we're going to be. We're just going to be a Bond girl. Maybe I'll go ask him for, for a device. Maybe I'll go ask him for a device. <laughs> That's a strange sentence. Sakazaki? Uh, hey, did Sakazaki come in this morning? Yeah, he was here this morning. Don't know where he went. D doesn't he attend class? He's never been particularly serious, no. He isn't even here after time. I don't think he's planning to go to university, is he? I never realized. Hmm. If he is still here, he's probably at the infirmary or the shop. I'll go to the shop first. We didn't have infirmary duty today, and my hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me he's there. All we have to do is follow the thread of love that will lead me to him. Yuya! Hello, Monami. You startled me. That was easier than I expected. He's kind of acting weird, though. He isn't shoplifting, is he? Are you busy right now? I wanted to talk to you. Oh, uh, sure. Here. What's he giving to me? Mwah! Like that Winnie the Pooh baby. He takes my hand and runs from the store. Oh my god, is he like abducting me? What are you doing? Why did you drag me into this empty hallway? And why didn't you drag me into that empty closet? Are you excited? <laughs> no, I'm terrified because you're going to molest me in broad daylight in public. Oh well. well I like my molestations to happen in, in private, thank you very much. Why'd you come and talk to me, mon ami? Were you drawn to my sexy aura? No, I just wanted to talk to you about career plans and stuff. I'm like a career-orientated Ali McBeal, is what I am. You've always been a diligent girl, Harry. You know hanging around me is dangerous, though. You won't get off with just a scratch. What do you mean? I'm going to impregnate you, girl. <laughs> we might get- You might get pregnant. <laughs> Shot, knifed, dismembered, drowned, buried alive. That sort of thing. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Yuya. He's obviously a serial killer. Oh no, he's not. Don't think too hard. I mean exactly what I said. I'm going to disappear from this school soon, mon ami. I know it isn't easy, but you should forget about me. That'll be for the best. No, we can't. You've made like too much of an impression on me at this stage. I think his tone is... With the his tone of voice is as carefree as ever, but his eyes are dead serious. I don't think he's joking. Kind of hard to swallow, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Hip thrust? How about this? <laughs> I'll tell you something neat as a parting gift. You know the rumours that missing students end up as meat in the cafeteria and quill pens in the shop? Well, why do you think I'm so forward, mon ami? And why do you think I work in the infirmary? Live an honest, happy life. Ade! Yuya, wait! Yeah, he's investigating. That's what he's doing. He's investigating. And in the alternate reality, he got caught and we ended up eating him and writing with him. We got our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Colin, open the doors. You're getting better. Keep it up. <laughs> Stupid Isle Delfino noise, whatever it is. The sun. Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. And I haven't been gun I haven't been like shot, knifed, disemboweled, dismembered, whatever. It's a little cold, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. The shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from somebody. Well, if you would like done the storyline where we ended up killing you yeah then we could have like just warned him couldn't we i think i'll buy an amulet and go home harry oh no it's him again you again happy new year there's some here's to many happy returns right here's to many happy you not returning to look at me ever again what are you doing ryota exactly what it's look like i'm working here today and tomorrow Ooh, it looks good on you you came here to buy an amulet right which would you like um, I'd like one for, uh, I don't know, whatever. 
whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think this really makes much of a difference, does it? Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yep. First day is always busy. Well, at least I know where you, where I won't be, so... No, I don't want to get lunch with you. Bye, bye, bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Now we're going to run into teacher. Yeah. Hmm? It's bad teacher again. Hello, Cullen. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, which one should I take? This one. What did I end up getting? Oh, I got that hooker burlesque bird again. The silky blessing. Pity it isn't a silky blessing. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Cullen. Hopefully you won't get shot, knifed, dismembered, disemboweled. Thank you, sir. Even though, like, he knows everything that's going on, it seems. Wait, isn't that... It's you, yeah. I thought you were disappearing. Whatever happened to that idea? Happy new salutations, mon ami. It is you. Happy new salutations to you, too. Ah, to meet you on the first day of the new year. A good omen, indeed. Did you come alone? Not exactly, no. I was looking for someone, but I seem to have lost sight of them. You're just as suspicious as always, you, yeah. But I found you instead, so I can't say this was a wild goose chase, mon ami. Yeah, like, this is totally what's going on. I seem to have, like, twigged it again. Well, I think I have anyway. I was wrong about the Nanaki storyline. Yeah, there he goes again. International bird of mystery. I guess this is like... Oh, I was just gonna say, I thought it was going to be the start of third term. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. I saw you yesterday. Or no, yeah, I saw you, like, I saw you, like... Two weeks ago. You weren't hibernating at all. You were walking around getting chickens of ill omen. Yeah, yeah. Seen it already. Been there. Done that. Got the brass ring. And now it's on to third term. Oh, we can still go. We've only been recording for like eight minutes. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Wee! I don't remember it saying wee at the end of the sentences like that. Tomorrow's Legumentines. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for some beans? No, I just came to your bean shop because I don't know what I want. Yes, is there a kind that you think is particularly good? Medleys for racers, blah blah. I don't know what I'll get for... you, yeah. I don't know, like, cam corn? Just because it's the first one. He seems like quite, like, a, a serene individual. So maybe that'll suit him. My god, my throat is, like, really sore. But that ice-cold water really does the trick. Something <laughs> cold and wet dripping down the back of me gullet. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special somebody. I want to give Yuya beans, but I don't even know if he's at school today. I guess I'll have to call him. Don't we have like a Yuya sign we can put up in the sky or something? What? We have a phone? Oh yeah, I forgot. When we died, we had an iPhone 4S. Salutations, Monami. He answered. Hello. How are you, Yuya? Where are you right now? I'm fine, but alas, I cannot say where I am. The best men always have a mystery, or 2,000 after all. <laughs> Do you need me for something? Um, could we meet up for a bit, please? I'll only ask this once. A once-in-a-lifetime request, in other words. Really? A once-in-a-lifetime, plus plenty more times in the same lifetime, request. Well, that sounds important. I can't exactly say no, now can I? Shall we meet up at the usual place in the park tonight, say 8? Yeah, under our usual bush where we, like, do our usual things. Okay. Yuya, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Time is spent waiting for a lady is magical. Irreplaceable time. He's such a gentleman. Pay it no mind, mon ami. Unfortunately, I do not have much time left today. Forgive my lack of romance, but may I ask what I may I ask what you wanted to meet with me for? Oh yes. Oh, here's that like weird like casino music again. It's the Gumentine, so I wanted to give you this. Pocket sand. 
You wanted to give me beans, Monami? Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Judge? Ah, how wonderful. I am glad I risked my life to come here. Here, Yuya. Thank you, Monami. How very kind of you indeed. I shall enjoy these. I, I love how like my character isn't even reacting to him saying, Oh, I've risked my life to come here. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And now, the night wears on, Monami. Don't stay out too late. Ate! He gives me a little shove, either out of imprudence or to push me from the path of some unseen danger. I love this music, by the way. I wish there was actually, like, the opportunity to, like, play the soundtrack in this game. Do you know in, like, lots of games you have, like, the sound test option? Or at least you used to be four. That's something that used to be in so many games, like, on, like, like, like on, like, the Sega Mega Drive and stuff like that. There used to be the sound test option where you could play the music. And it doesn't seem to be in games anymore. That wasn't very romantic, but at least he's doing well, I think. You could always, like, play all the sound effects as well. It was really fun. The comics owned a sound test, oh my god. The semester is almost over, in a few short weeks I will no longer be a sophomore. I haven't seen you yet since New Year's. Well no, we saw him just there, that wasn't New Year's, New Year's was like before then, wasn't it? Apparently he hasn't come to school all semester, there are rumours he's dropped out, so could that really be true? No, he's just like continuing his life of mystery and espionage and intrigue. I feel like a hole has opened up in my heart. I think I'll go drown my sorrows in arcade games. Are they in a cave too? Oh wait, no, here's the not Godzilla destroyed Tokyo. Wait, isn't that? Yuya, he's some shitty ass spy if everywhere we go we seem to see him, you know? Monami, you, you look like you're doing pretty well. I uh have some stuff to do. Adieu. Hey, wait. Uh, uh, Harry, could you not grab me so tightly? <gasps> Yuya, is your wing bro- Look out! Oh, what's happening? A gunshot? Ninjas? Opening fire on a lady? Such insufferable cads they are. This way, Monami, run! Oh no, here comes, like, the Professor Layton drama music again. It's because, like, I'm pretty sure there's music that sounds exactly like this in Pandora's box. Yuya, what's going on? Please, explain yourself. What are you? Why are people trying to kill you? Are you a wanted man? I... I suppose I can't really say you're not involved anymore, can I? It's time I explained. Do you know of the hawk party and the dove party, Monami? Um... Not really. <laughs> the political factions? Right, they were names used in human politics, but now they carry a different meaning. The dove party believes we should live peacefully with the remaining... REMAINING HUMANS? Remaining humans? You, you mean me? Am I like the only one? While well, the Hawk Party believes we should exterminate them to make room for the birds. Wait a second, are they the ones who like... Who like killed, um... Killed me, so... St. Pigeonations is actually a secret... Oh my god, how did... Wait a second, how does this end up being the storyline? Of all the storylines with all the characters, how does this end up be the one where I actually find out what the fuck is going on in this game? But what? Of course, it's not like the entire facility is working for them. There's only one Hawk agent actually working at the school. And it's Nanaki. No, it's not. It's the doctor, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Except bad teacher knows what's going on. By contrast, I was dispatched by the doves to infiltrate the school and investigate the experiments. As you said, I'm a wanted man. Ah ha ha ha. I'm proud to live up to that title. I'm an expert at clandestine information retrieval, and information is valuable. I imagine you've already realized why I was acting as a helper in the infirmary. Yeah, because the Hawk agent is... I got Shu! It's Dr. Owamane, even though Professor Nanaki was acting like really suspicious in his storyline, and we never found out what that was all about. Iwamane has no doubt in his... The, the, the Salami Suwamane is like... is no doubt an assumed name. He's a researcher for the Hawk Party and has been developing anti-human biological weapons using data collected during physical examinations. Oh my god. Remember when we bumped into each other at the school shop? So that's like all those like little documents about like... About like... Um... Im immune systems and like... And resistances and whatever. That's like why I'm at the school, isn't it? Isn't that what they were saying? I was investigating where the product sold there come from. I found that DNA samplings from the pens they, there match samples taken from missing students. Same goes for much of the poultry in the cafeteria. Th that's horrible! But if the doctor was out to exterminate humans, why did he ever do anything to me? 
Well, this is just my interpretation. But I don't think he holds any political ideals. I think he trusts only in his own knowledge, and his own power to expand that knowledge. And he wants to, like, something like a mad scientist maybe? Yeah, pretty much. And what about that, like, weird tree thing as well? Exactly. I suppose it never occurred to him to target you, since you were working for him. I think he was more interested in observing your interactions with the other students. I wanted to reveal the Hawk's involvement in the school, but in the end it proved too much for me alone. And now, well, I can no longer live in the open. I plan to leave this city tonight. Oh my god, can we go with you? And like, be like on the run with you. That would be so amazing. But I can't leave just yet. I don't know if I can just just leave you here, Harry. You, yeah. You may already have been marked as one of my associates, and if that is the case, then leaving you alone would be dangerous. I'm sorry you got involved in this, Mona Me. Hardly. I was the one who approached you. You don't need to apologize. Because it's too late to apologize. Ah, ah, ah. Ha 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 ha. You're such a nice girl. Thank you. Hmm. I'll let you decide. Do you want to come with me into the world of darkness, or would you rather live a normal life? Of course, if you want to stay, I'll assign agents to protect you. I want to... Totally go with you, yeah. Why would I fucking stay here? I want to, like, live in... Why would I stay in the school with that creepy-ass doctor? Wait a second, why'd the music change all of a sudden? To this? Why did it change to this? This is totally inappropriate. I want to go with you. Are you sure? You may be putting your life at risk. Don't make me say it twice. Ah, somehow I was hoping you'd say that. I haven't been this happy in a long time. There's nothing more keeping us here then. Let us go, Monami! Whoosh! And so I followed Yuya yeah, into the world of darkness. Sometime in the future, a pair of spies and their endless battle for justice behind the fail curtain of society will pass into legend. But that's another story. Oh my god, that turned out being so cool! Like, that actually, like, that storyline turned out to be, like, so, so cool. And I never expected it. Let's, like, see. Do we have, like, a, where's the picture? There it is. You, yeah, only live twice. Oh, my God. And look, he has, like, a rose. He's, like, fucking tuxedo mask or something. Oh my god, I, I like, never thought that his storyline would be so cool and I'd actually, like, end up being interested in his character because, like, like, in, in the beginning, like, all the other storylines, it always seemed, like, so, like, he seemed, like, so uninteresting to me because he was just, like, this basic douche, you know? But now, like, I don't know, like, I, and I find it so interesting that his storyline, of all the storylines, is the one where, like, they actually half reveal what's going on in that game in this game let's see so there's you yeah only live twice my god did anything else get unlocked here no let's have a look at like the archive because maybe they unlocked something else there it looks like we have that we have that Wait a second, what's this? Temporarily open the dividing wall in the underground facility at the request of the biological blah blah blah. Subject 00, zero remains in cold storage, whoever that is. Oh my god. The death of subject 00's zero zero relative has been confirmed. His remains are stored in area D3, section 1, boxed and processed. Okay, that we had that already. That's the diary. Oh my god, like... Subject zero zero. I don't know who that is. I presume it's either Angel or or me. I don't know. <laughs> but did they have me in cold storage? Like like that episode of Grim and Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy with Fred Flintstone, where he gets thawed out of the block of ice. Um. So yeah. Oh my God. So uh, as far as I can tell, um, like I know that Sakuya has two endings. So this must be the second Sakuya ending. I know that Okosan has two endings, so this must be the second one. And I know that the Doctor Shu has two as well, so this must be that. So, like, to be honest, like, can like you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Like, the those of you, I know, like, Sky Destiny knows this game. 
Um, I, to be honest, it seems to me like the other characters don't have other endings, or else like why would they, why would they not have space here? Do you know? Because I presume like. I presume like if like they had like other endings, there'd be space for them too. Do you know, there's no space for a Ryosha ending. There's no space for like a a Nagaki ending. Or like another Angel ending. I can't imagine how another Angel ending would be. That's the other thing. So I don't know. I guess in the next part. I suppose we'll start like at the top and go down. Because I want to keep a with like the infirmary till the last. Because we were just there. So um, I guess in the next part. We'll try and unlock Sakuya's other ending. Which I'm pretty sure you just have to go to all music classes. As far as I've been told. So thanks a million for watching this part of Let's Play. Had a full boyfriend with me. Rock Paper Mario. Finally things are starting to make a bit of sense around here. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye now.